Good morning and welcome to Grace for Today. My name is Marshall Brown. I am the senior pastor here at Grace Presbyterian Church. And in these Grace for Today sessions, we have been working through our album, He Will Rejoice, which has 10 tracks. We were doing two a week for five weeks. We started this when the lockdown began and we are still in lockdown. And so going forward, what we're going to do is we're going to on Tuesdays consider a great hymn of the Christian tradition which we hope that you will listen to and learn and sing. We'll actually be coming back to it on Sunday morning. It'll be part of our Sunday morning worship service. And then on Thursdays, we will look at some of the great psalms from the Christian tradition. Uh, this week, Pastor Nick will look at th on Thursday at Psalm 1. But this week, the hymn we look at is Praise to the Lord the Almighty. It has a familiar and fitting tune. It is a call for us to praise, to praise to the Lord. It is based on Psalm 103. Let me read the first verse of Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, or praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Now, whether it is a hymn or a psalm, when we are called to praise God, sometimes it frankly feels a bit annoying. At least it does to me. Like I don't feel like praising God right now. I am in a lockdown. We're going stir crazy. Some of us are afraid. Some of us don't know what the future holds. And it's difficult economically. There's so much and it doesn't, we just don't feel like praising God right now. And so why should we praise God? Well, let me quickly give us two reasons why we should consider praising God and then two ways to get started. First, two reasons why. First, friends, we were created to praise. It is deep in us that we were created to praise. And so whether we are praising the achievements of the 1990 Bulls and Michael Jordan as we watch The Last Dance, or whether it's the Instagram feed we're so impressed with, we were created to praise, to look at something and say, that is good, that is beautiful, it is worthy of my praise. But the second reason why we should praise is God is worthy of our praise. As one of the verses of this hymn says that he is the king of creation, everything around us he created. But also, he didn't just create us, he has redeemed us. He has become one of us and given himself for the life of the world. And we praise him as our creator and as our redeemer. But how do we get started? It is difficult to praise. The first thing I would advise you to do, encourage you to do, is just to look around, open your eyes, to see the things that God has done. Whether it's the yellow finches that we now see that spring is here, the sunsets over the weekend, perhaps it's the dimple or the smile on your child's face, or the way that you see God working in somebody. Open your eyes, look, and see the ways that God is worthy of our praise. And second, just sing. Open your vocal cords, make yourself vulnerable, and sing. If you're with your family, sing with your family. If you're alone, you can sing alone. I often sing sometimes in my personal quiet times. So just sing, look around, and then sing. So I encourage you to have a listen to the Grace Prez Band, but also to sing along with them in their rendition, it's the same tune, but their rendition of praise to the Lord, the Almighty. And friends, that's grace for today.